What's guys going on? Salty Buckshot here. Just want to do a quick, uh, little video here on my uh, med bag. Um, this is my bag for my car. It also includes my uh, stock bleed kit. Um, I have a little bit more in here than uh, probably the normal average uh, two-way guy. Um, and a lot of that is because I am first responder. Uh, living in rural Maine, um, sometimes off-duty people or uh, some of the fire departments around here first respond to medical calls just because of the extended time before an ambulance reaches the patient. So, like I said, a lot of this is more stuff than you need it, um, but there's a reasoning behind it for me. So, without any more ramble, let's go ahead and get to the video. Um, so, as you can see, this is my bag right here. Um, it's a pretty decent bag. This isn't no fancy bag. I've had this for years. Um, I believe this, <laughs> I bought this at Walmart back when they sold tactical stuff and then forbidden it and pulled it all out of the store. But that's a whole nother rant with Walmart, as I'm sure it is with everybody else. But so, um, here we go. Yes, there's a roll of duct tape. You would not believe the uses medically when you are 70 miles from pavement or 70 miles from a hospital what you can do with duct tape so that's the first thing right here is duct tape if you go on this pouch i carry a tourniquet in this pouch which is right here which is a cat tourniquet and also two extra things a quick clot and go here to the front pocket a little zip pocket i have two triangle bandage and of course some narcan and as well as a pen for writing and purell so also two guys uh i have the setup for what i use the most down here um so if it don't look sensible to you guys um this is just the stuff that we use a lot down here on uh, certain calls. Um, if you go into the front zipper, I'm trying to do this well, holding the camera. So again, I apologize. So right in the front here, I have a CPR pocket mask. I'm sure everybody's seen one of those. Nothing fancy. I do like these ones better than the keychain, just for the purpose of uh, when the ambulance get there or our, our first responder truck or something, and just pull off the uh, top one piece valve and just put a BVM. Um, anybody that doesn't know what a BVM is, and it's a bag valve mask, it's uh, something that we uh, assist breathing with and can hook up to oxygen. Um, also in that front pouch, I have a blood pressure stethoscope kit. Nothing fancy there. Um, let's see if I remember. Some aspirin. And a second pocket mask. So, I know it's redundant with two pocket masks, but it uh, wouldn't be the first time in one day that we I've gone to one, more than one CPR in progress call. So, let's move on to the inside. So inside, I have right in here a pen light, a seat belt cutter with an auction tool attached to it, an assortment of uh, OPAs, oral fair drill airways. And then in this next one, it's uh, just going to be the uh, NPAs, nasal pharyngeal airways, assortment size. And a couple extra of the uh, oral airways that I couldn't get to fit in the other pouch. Hey guys, sorry about the shakiness. Uh, moving on, I have a uh, pretty much a barrier suit um, because when we do first respond because of COVID, unfortunately, we have to wear these uh, marshmallow suits. Um, so I have that there. Uh, moving on, I have a sand splint because most of the common things down here are broken limbs and rural main. 
I have a N95 filter mask. As well as this. This is something too not a lot of people have. Um, but it's a ready heat blanket. Pretty much all you do. Um, it's got a bunch. It's pretty much squared off. This whole blanket's got little squares. And what it is is just those little hand warmers inside those squares sewn into this. And this is disposable. Um, you pull out of the package, shake the little baggies, and uh, it gets hot. Um, carry this in here because we do have cold weather most of the time. And uh, I do live on the coast. Um, the water here, even in mid-July, when it's 98 degrees out, the water is still 30 degrees. Um, so this stays in here year-round because it can always be used. Um, same way with the lakes and that, too. Um, some of them get warmer than others, but... If you're in there longer than 30, 20, 30 minutes, the lakes down here, I'm, you still can get hypothermia. Uh, also in here, I do have uh, sea collars. There's two different styles. Uh, nothing fancy. Uh, one's a child and one's an adult. One's a child and one's an adult. Um, then in back of here is just really an assortment of, uh, the big 10 by 2.5 trauma dressings, pretty much, uh, trauma dressings, two by twos and four by fours all are in back of there. Uh, nothing that nobody's seen. Um, so if we turn that around, this is my stop the bleed bag, which again, like I said, um, well, most of you guys actually might have some of this stuff. So in here I have a little cheapo clip on a hat or clip on you headlamp. Um, gives you enough light and it's also got the red for nighttime. But just gives you enough little light um, in case you're having to use this kit in an emergency at nighttime. So at least you got some type of light in there. There's going to be that. Another cat tourniquet. A roll of gauze cling. And of course, it has some rubber gloves. And I have a nasal. Another nasal pharyngeal airway. This one is in here in the trauma kit. The stop the bleed. And this is a 28 French. Take that back. I have two in there. Um, yep, yeah, both 28 French. So, uh, just a backup. As well in there, I also have an Israeli bandage. Which are perfect pressure dressings. Nice and small and compact. Fits in there pretty good. Another bottle of Purell. A pen, just in case if I need to write something down or mark time on the tourniquet. A uh, North American Arms. Uh, check, sorry about that. North American Rescue um, Needle Decompression. in there as well and then finally but not least the uh some more of the uh quick cloth 4x4 dressings and uh roll gauze i get the roll gauze just for simply it's a lot better to uh, pack a wound if you have to with the roll gauze um as everybody knows um and it's also uh by main ems policy uh the state laws um this is what we can pack with not saying we can't, but this is through their guidelines what we can pack a wound with. So, well, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that was my uh, med kit. Um, this is in my car all the time, uh, along with the stop the bleed kit. Everything's put right together. So, if I need it, I can just grab it and uh, go. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Salty Buckshot. 
all lowercase and together um as well as my uh youtube channel which i haven't been very productive on there lately um sometimes it's just hard um but you can also go ahead and follow me on uh youtube salty buckshot as well um hit the follow button subscribe uh, like and comment please guys um every little bit helps well guys hope you have a good day stay salty and stay safe